you looking well still? I'm not too bad, thank well, you. Well, I think basically because I was one of the first to actually achieve most things in, in, in line, you know. I became obviously a good shot putter, I went to the Olympic Games, I challenged, I was number one in the world, then I did Highland Games and won the World Championships seven times, then I did the World's Strongest Man and I won that World Championships twice. And a bit like Harvey Smith, everybody can remember him for sticking two fingers up, you know. And I think re my, myself, obviously, because I'm larger than life, and, uh, and I've been there a long time. And when you think I've probably crossed over nearly four generations of people, you know. And um, like, it's like the granddads, the parents, the parents' children and everybody else. And I'm still there, you know, although I'm not competitive anymore. Um, I've always kind of been on television doing other things, but I'm now coaching athletes, uh, in, especially in the shot put, uh, the next generation and possibly for the next Olympics in 212. And uh, I'm based at Loughborough University and I've got some good youngsters um, that are throwing quite a long way, and some of them throwing us further than what I did at their age. So um, it shows yeah, we've got some kids coming for the future and hopefully some of them will be taking medals away in the 212 Olympics here in London. Tell me, tell me how you came to be involved with it, Because my mate Russ. Uh, Russ Harmon is a very good friend of mine. Right. And, I, well, we've known each other for well over 40 years. And uh, Russ worked for a, a, another company a few years ago and set up on his own. Mm -hmm. And it's really just a question of sometimes picking, picking up the phone and said, Jeff, are you busy? Uh, I'll buy you a, you know, a bacon sandwich with brown sauce, you know. And uh, I said, is that the deal then? He said, yeah, that's the deal. I said, oh, I'll be there then. You work cheap. Yeah, I work very cheap, you know. Um, but no, I mean, we've worked on a lot of projects together over the years, and uh, which is good. I only live just down the road near Grantham. So um, I didn't have to come very far at all. And uh, hopefully he might say, do you want to come back tomorrow? As long as he gives me a ticket to get in, I'll be here. You know? <laughs> now, I used to have a caravan. I mean, I used to have a damn good one. I used to be, I have a, an ABI superstar. There's a bit of a, 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 pro, a trade name for you. But it was a double axle, twin star. And, and uh, I had it in Scotland when I did all the touring around the Highland Games and the Strongman events. And uh, about a year later, it got stolen from it, from its uh, winter site. So uh, uh, that was my, you know, kind of involvement with caravans. But I, I, I went to the caravan uh, um, rally last year. Um, a stately home somewhere down oh, south, yeah. a real big one, and because they had a strong man, a caravan of strong man, you know. Uh, but here, I mean, it's great to see other things than just caravans, and it's very family orientated. And I think there's more and more people taking to the road, if you like, rather than the static holidays, and it's cost effective as well. You know, some people can, you know, poo poo caravanners, they've got every right to be on the road just as anybody else. I mean, they're less intrusive than the massive trucks that are coming over from Europe nowadays and blow you off the road. And, uh, and obviously the cars are a lot better, the, the, the caravans themselves are a lot better and, and, and more stable. Uh, and uh, they are like moving your house on wheels. And, you know, I think it's great. And, it, and you know, I mean, OK, you know, not, it's not everybody's cup of tea to fly or travel. Uh, and everything else, uh, you know, on holiday at a, at a, at a static site. And it's great, to, especially in Europe, because it's just across the road, you know, or water, so to speak. You can actually drive anywhere in Europe and spend six months of the year in the warm in Europe and then come back to England and spend six months a year. So I think a lot of people are, are, are thinking about how cost effective it is in terms of their lives. Because let's face it today, you know, Owning a home and mortgages and everything else is very unstable, you know, uh, and uh, I, I would certainly consider it if I was in that position um, because I still do a lot of shows all around the country and still do a lot of events as well. So, uh, you know, I, I can certainly see the pleasure of caravanning.